Hi developers, I'm Hussam Dilai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to build, how to use SQLite with Xamarin Forms to uh, develop an application that stores uh, users' data inside the application that could be deployed inside uh, iOS, Android, and Windows platforms. So we'll be building an application that looks like this one, deployed on the three platforms here. So you will have the list of uh, to-do items uh, retrieved from the database, each one inside each platform. And here you can add another uh, to-do item, for example, let's say here meeting friends with some options for uh, selecting done or not done using this slider here. Then you click add to-do item, you go to refresh the to-do items to retrieve the data stored inside the database then you get the uh, added uh, to-do item called meeting friends the same thing for the other two platforms so let's see how we can build this uh, simple application that uh, have features of adding data to the database and retrieving data and also uh, updating the data already saved there so I'll go to my application. Here I have uh, created a Xamarin Forms uh, type of application inside Visual Studio. Now I go to the solution, right click, and select Manage NuGet Packages for a Solution. And now I'll go and look for uh, a plugin called plugin.sqlite. It's a NuGet package that will help you to uh, easily start developing applications with SQLite so I select this plugin now select install so the plugin will be now installed for uh, for each platform with uh, all the resolved uh, dependencies to SQLite and also some uh, some files inside each platform so the plugin will do all the work for you so here you see that it adds files to the Android project inside a folder called SQLite. And the same thing will be done for uh, iOS and for the other uh, Windows platforms, the UWP project and also for the uh, Windows Store and Windows Phone uh, project. So for the UWP project, there is something to do here when you go and open this uh, SQLite app sample, you, s you can find the readme file here. It tells add the following class to your Windows UWP project. So I need to select this code, copy it and add it as a class inside my uh, UWP project. So I'm going to right click my universal Windows project and select add a new class. I call it uh, SQLite UWP for example. And inside this class I'll go and paste my uh, new class here yeah, which I get from um, from the readme file so now I need to resolve these dependencies control shift V so now when added I can go and um, see the file here so here I have two uh, classes the to-do item which is the data I want to store inside my database so it's it's a model that will be stored for that it have an ID which is the primary key and it will be auto incremented each time so you don't need to fix that ID to one then two then three it's auto increment and inside this model you have a text which contain the to do a task and a done the value indicating it that a task is done or not yet The other class we have it is SQLite sample page 
this um, this sample page we have a method called get sample content page this uh, will return a content page that contains a simple user interface like this one we was uh, looking at so this user interface that contains a text and um, a switcher a switch and two buttons for adding and for getting data from the database so let's see uh, the implementation of those ones here. So we can see that inside the constructor here, where I go and create, uh, I get the connection to the database, then I create a table of type to do item. So here you see that uh, SQLite is an ORM, it's an object relational mapping. So it uses objects to deal with uh, the database. So here, um, for uh, adding data to the database, I use the method called insert and give it the model or the data that I want to store inside my database. Then for updating, I use the update method, which take um, which will take the model that I want to update with the right ID. So I have to make sure that this ID that there is an entity with uh, the id equal one so that it can go to that entity and apply the new text and the new value for the done property now if i want to delete some property i have or some data i, I use the delete method and within the delete i pass it the parameter which will be the id of the entity that i want to remove from uh, the database and again here I have to make sure that this ID uh, exists so now to uh, so that you can get this user interface with this, this uh, working code inside your application you have to go to the app.cs and here I change the main page to be um, the new sample SQLite sample page, which is the name of this class, simple, uh, SQLite sample page. And then I go and call the get sample content page method, the method that will give you a sample user interface that looks like uh, this one. So now with uh, this sample uh, code, you have uh, almost all the code you need to get started for creating table for inserting data updating data and also uh, deleting uh, data from uh, the database and with this sample you should be able to uh, get started uh, writing your own application that stores uh, data inside uh, the application so thank you